Hi everyone, it's Jess and welcome to another video. So today I am doing the mid-year free cow video, um, which I got tagged by Penny from Penny at Books. So I cannot believe we are halfway through the year already. When I saw Penny's video, I was just like, oh my God, we are actually halfway through the year. It just hadn't really clicked yet, but yeah. So I thought I would do this tag. first question is the best book that you have read so far in 2017. So I had a bit of a toss up with this question because there's been a few books that I've really enjoyed but I tried to sort of weigh them all so like I had a different book for each question so this book is sort of like tied with a few others but I did really enjoy it. That is Carnival by Stephanie Garber and oh my god this book just caught me in so many ways. Um, it's the first book that I've actually read in under a day. I think I read it in like 24 hours so like I took two days because I started it like after lunch one day and finished it before lunch the next day but yeah oh my god I've never done that before and I was just gripped I couldn't put it down I was just like oh my god just oh, it's such a roller coaster of a book and just yeah just like wow I just I just don't have words for what I feel for this book just you're told that um it says remember it's only a game on the front and the whole time you're just like well is that true is that real and you just get so lost and it's like the whole point of the story and the way that um, Stephanie Garber like describes things is just like so I don't know just so magical and I just really enjoyed this book and I cannot wait for the second one to come out but there's not a release date yet for it so yeah I'm just like, oh, I need to, I think I'm going to reread it because I did read it so quickly. I think I might try and read it slowly next time and really savour it and then perhaps do a book review afterwards because I did really enjoy this book. Second question is the best sequel you've read. It. So I actually haven't finished any sequels yet this year. I've just been reading a lot of like the first book in a series or like standalone books. Um, so... Um, the book that I've picked I haven't actually finished yet and I think that means you guys know exactly what it is. So that is Akamath by Sarah J Mass and I am absolutely loving this. I'm about halfway through at the moment and just oh my god I just know that it's going to be my favourite book of the year once I've finished it but obviously I couldn't put it in for that one. Um, but yeah it's going to be my favourite sequel for a very long time. It's so much better than the first book. I did really enjoy the first one but this one's pacing is just so much better like the first one the pacing of it like the first like 75 percent of the book is just so slow and then like everything happens in the last part but then it just carries on to this book and there's just so much going on and i'm just loving it like so 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 much just like oh i just need to finish this but i'm trying to like read it slowly luckily me and jade are reading like three pages a day which is working out at a really nice pace it's sort of it's quick enough but like not too slow but it makes you kind of like wait the whole day and you just can't wait to like read it again at the end of the day but yeah I'm really enjoying this one as well. The third question is a new release you haven't read yet but really want to. Now I think all of you guys will know what book I'm going to pick out for this one and that is Aqua obviously because I'm currently halfway through the series, the trilogy, whatever you want to call it. So obviously I haven't read this one yet and so many people have read it and I just cannot wait to just get to this book and I just really want to know everything that happens. I just want to know what happens in the story more than what happens in this book. I just want to keep reading. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really am just wanting to get to this book is the only book that I have that I just am dying to get to. So yeah. The fourth question is the most anticipated anticipated release for the second half of the year. So Penny did actually pick this book as well and I'm going to steal it <laughs> and I did actually see this book first I think on Super Space Chicks channel um, and it just oh my god captivated me when she spoke about it and then Penny spoke about it and I'm just like cannot wait for this book to come out because um, it is I should probably say what book it is first. Uh, it is Daughter of the Burning City. And so it is about, I believe, like I haven't really, I just can't put it into words, like 
I don't know, I'll put the description down below, like say the Goodreads link, because I'm not very good at describing books, but from what I can see from the front cover, which really draws me in, I'm such a cover buyer, um, it is like a circus kind of theme, I believe, something like that, but just, oh, I cannot wait to get to this book, I'll put like the cover here, um, and yeah, I shall put the description, like the Goodreads link down below, because I don't know, I can't even remember why I really want to read this book, but just every time someone's spoken about it, I'm just like, oh my god. I think it's because it kind of reminds me of Carnival, and obviously that's the best book that I read this year, so just kind of anything emulating that is just like, I need to get my hands on it, like, now. So, yeah. Question five is the biggest disappointment, and I know, I knew exactly which book to pick up for this one, because... I just, I just wanted to love it and I just didn't. And that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. So I was really excited, excited about this book. Um, obviously it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling um, of the Queen of Hearts before she became the Queen of Hearts. I just love the idea of the story. I guess not a spoiler or anything, but the whole love triangle in it, just like, I get the whole point, but it was like the whole point of the story and there was just nothing else going on. And I just, this book is like playing really funny, like with the lighting, I'm really sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was just slow, and just the, the love triangle just didn't get me. And I'm just, I'm not really into that whole romancey thing. I don't mind romance if there's something else in the story, and like a different storyline. It's just like a side kind of story. But this was like the whole book was just about the love triangle, and it just, it just didn't get me. It just didn't get me. But I really wanted to love it. So yeah, a bit disappointed. Question six is the biggest surprise, and. I just knew the book also that I was going to pick for this one and that is the reader on the 6.27 so I got this book last year from a book swap and um, I just didn't know anything about it I hadn't really seen much about it anywhere but the whole point of the book swap was to share your favorite book so somebody shared this with me um, so obviously it was supposed to be really good but I was just yeah, I was just really surprised because obviously I didn't know anything about it and I don't really have huge hopes on someone sending me a book and me loving it because, you know, I hadn't picked it out myself, so, you know, but I did really enjoy this book. It's not that long, it's like 200 pages, so it's like really quick to get through, but just, it doesn't give you much detail um, when you're reading, so you're constantly wanting to like carry on reading to find out more information and just the pacing of the book was really good and just... Yeah, just the whole idea just was really interesting and like there's a huge big twist at the end which you don't expect happening and just yeah it's just really quirky and just I just loved it and I just didn't expect to like I really enjoy the cover which I was really impressed at but yeah I just didn't expect to love a book so much that somebody else sent me and I loved it. Question seven is the favourite new author and it took a bit of time to try and weigh up which author I wanted to say for this one because obviously there's so many books I've enjoyed do I give the author that was like my favourite book but I tried to pick out so like an author of a book I haven't already said and it just I can't believe I just been, didn't pick this book for something else. And that is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. So I absolutely loved this book. This is an exact book that I mean about just a romance story where the romance is like a sideline, but it just really grips you. So just the love between Mare and Denna was just, oh my God. And it's the first story that I've read, which was like an LGBT plus book. So um, that was really good, so like a diverse book, I'd never read one before, so I'm really glad that this was the first one that I picked up ever. So yeah, I just loved it and just the romance between the two was just like, oh, it just makes you so jealous of being alone, I swear. It was just, it was just perfect. Where you've got the two different opinions, so like you'll read a chapter of Mare and then you'll read a chapter of Dana, etc. So both of them don't know that each other lo like like each other or interested in each other, but you're you know, so you're like waiting for them to find out, and it's just like oh, it just gives you so many feels. And the ending was pretty good. I don't know if there's another book coming out for this, but if there was, I would definitely be reading it. But yeah, this was a top good read and I just I know that I'm gonna pick up anything that um, Audrey Cothers like um, writes after this book because just the writing in this book was just amazing and I just loved everything about it so yeah this is definitely gonna be an auto buy author for me the eighth question is the newest fictional crush I know exactly who I'm gonna say for this I feel like everybody 
is going to say this person and if you're not like have you read the book properly have you even read the book have you even read the book like if if this isn't your favorite fictional crush then you're just gonna be forever alone i'm sorry like don't mean to be mean but it's just perfect in every way and that is obviously resand from a court of mist and fury obviously i'm only halfway through so i don't know what happens and like i kind of guess i can't say it unless i've read the whole thing but i know everybody loves it so i know it's gonna turn out okay but anyway at the moment he is my favorite fictional crush because <sighs> just everything just all the feels just like he's just so perfect and just i don't want to give away any spoilers but i just have so much to talk about and i'm definitely gonna have to do a review for this book because i have so much to talk about um, and as you guys know i have um the kindle edition as well because i went home for the weekend and forgot my copy of this bloody blah, blah but anyway i've been reading it on my kindle and i've been sort of like highlighting sections and doing notes on sections so I'm definitely 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 gonna do a book review for this one because yeah I just he's just so perfect and it just makes me feel so alone I really want him he's mine sorry everybody he's mine question nine is your newest favorite character so I didn't really know who to pick for this one because obviously I would pick Resand, but I already picked him for my favourite fictional crush but you know I can still pick him I suppose but there wasn't really anyone else who unless apart from like the books that I've spoken about already that was my favourites um so yeah I think I'm just gonna not answer this question because I don't have anyone else question 10 is a book that made you cry and I haven't I haven't cried at a book yet this year I cried last year when I read Harry Potter but that was last year I haven't cried yet this year I don't know why. I cry at films all the time. And the some books I've I've cried about. I'll admit, I've cried. But so far, I have not. So if you have any books that you're like, you will definitely cry at this book. I challenge you. Well, well, you challenge me to read the book and see if I cry. Just tell me down in the comments if there's a book, because I do love a good cry sometimes. So I would love to read a book that made me cry, which is a bit weird, but yeah. I haven't cried yet this year. Question 11 is a book that made you happy and I knew exactly which book to pick for this because it just I just laughed from start to finish and it was just great and that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson and this is a graphic novel about a girl who becomes like a sidekick of an evil villain um, so yeah it was just hilarious and the artwork in it is just great and um, she also co-write um Lum Janes I think or did like the illustrations or something like that but yeah this book was just hilarious and I would recommend it to anyone if you want a good laugh so yeah this is definitely probably most probably going to be the best laugh that I've had all year and I think I might reread it because you know who doesn't want to laugh and like read it in a whole like just one evening just in one sitting and I was then just so upset once I finished because I just wanted more the only problem with this book is there's not enough of it even though it's kind of chunky graphic novel but yeah it was great question 12 is the most beautiful beautiful book you've bought this year so i kind of like had a bit of a toss up of which ones you know i love beautiful books i'm total cover by so to me all of my books are beautiful and i love them all but this one just just speaks to me just speaks to me in a really special way and that is the 20th year anniversary edition of the philosopher's stone obviously by jk rowling so as you can tell i am a hufflepuff everybody surely knows by now that i'm a hufflepuff house colors wearing today um and this is the hardcover edition um so you have the stripes of the colors of your specific house and these are all like house editions so you can get a different book for each house on the front you also have like the house crest on there as well and then inside as well you've got um, all of the crests again as well um, and then you've got extra information and things like that and I just I just loved it it was just really nice and I just love the idea of having your own house cover look and also I actually bought the paperback. So the paperback has exactly the same sort of crest on it, but just the whole book is yellow in every single way. It's just yellow. And I just wanted both because I couldn't help myself. So I got both. And yeah, I just I just love them. 
they're just beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna I think I'll love them forever. And question 13 is what books you need to read by the end of the year? Just all of them. All of them. All of these. Every single one. Because I've only read 14 books and I now own like too many. And now I own like 70 odd and I've got 63 left to read. So all of them. I just need to read all of them. Yeah, I don't really know who to tag for this, but um, if you want to do this, do this. I tag everybody. And thanks again for Penny for tagging me in this video. Really enjoyed doing it and just sort of reflecting on the books that I'd read so far this year. So that was really interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again, guys. And I'll talk to you down in the comments until my next video. Bye, guys.